it's the end of a really a, a 30 year story uh, about their disenchantment from the West. I lived there for almost a decade. When I first got there, Americans were held in the highest regard. What a country, America, I love it. You wouldn't have to pay for a drink anywhere. Everybody was hmm. anxious to meet you. And uh, everybody was, was so interested in the West and wanted so badly to be part um, of, you know, the democracy and, and you know, the, the sort of capitalistic plenty that they'd been told about. Uh, they'd all listened to VOA. Uh, and then hmm. over the course of, the 90s, especially uh, when shock therapy was imposed in, in Russia, there was this steady disenchantment with with what the West was up to in that part mm -hmm. of the world. Between 1993 and 1996, 97, there was a series of privatizations uh, where companies the size of Exxon and Microsoft, or uh, they were basically handed to cronies of Yeltsin for pennies in the dollar. And this instant oligarch class was created with our help. We, we heavily advised in the process of designing these, uh, these privatizations. There was, uh, in particular, a, a series of auctions called the Loans for Shares auctions that helped create the oligarchs that we hear about so much in the news. Mm -hmm. um, and we were instrumental in helping design those processes. So a lot of Russians, you know, they saw that there was this instantaneous massive wealth gap. In a way, Russia was really a preview of what would happen in much of the West later. Uh, you know, there was the, the discontent that we see in, in America and over Brexit and, and places like that, this idea of anger about the wealth gap and elites. Russians started early down that road in the mid 90s because of the way that society was designed in the wake of communism. You know, we were so intent on smashing the old model that we I think the our advice helped create uh, a kind of warped, uh, almost like a parody style of American capitalism.